You see that? It's cold. What's going on everyone? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. My lawn has fungus. Darn. I wanted to deny it as much as possible that the lawn doesn't have fungus, but it clearly is dealing with something. And I think I know why. The ground is just always wet. And so yes, when you water, when you plant new grass seed, whether it's a full renovation or just an overseed, you want to water, keep the grass seed wet so it germinates, right? But then after it starts to germinate and you get a couple inches into the uh, of growth in there, you pull back your watering and eventually you can go into just whatever your normal watering cycle uh, is going to be, which is wonderful. However, um, what ended up happening, and I hadn't, I hadn't personally experienced this before, is that, so I was doing my normal watering, I was pulling back on the watering a little bit, and it's just been, I don't know if it's unseasonably cool for what we've typically been, but in the past, we've still, when I've done overseas and stuff, and even when I did my project father in lawn we still had temperatures relatively in the 70s and in the 80s lows in the 60s to 50s and you know just good growing temperatures and it was warm enough to actually let your grass dry out let your soil dry out a little bit especially when you start pulling back on the on the watering because the goal is you want to pull back on the watering so as the grass starts to grow up it's also going to start driving its roots down deep looking for water so that's kind of the theory behind that well, the problem is, is I haven't been able to dry out the ground because even when I was still watering, keeping the grass seed wet, we had a lot of rain. The cooler temperatures never let it really, let the water really evaporate. So between watering, the rain, and even when I pulled back watering and started watering every couple days or something like that, the ground just hasn't had a chance to like dry out. So I think it's just, just an abundance of water has caused sort of this, a uh, yellow coloring, this lime green coloring. Now, yes, grass seed is typically, baby grass is a little bit lighter shade, but even areas here where, you know, I have really good thick, um, you know, the grass that's actually doing really well, that's healthy, it's a darker shade of green than the grass that's struggling. Um, and that's kind of what I'm dealing with here. Uh, another issue it could be is overcrowding because like I said uh, in my lawn update video, all the the grass seed started, it didn't really wash away, but started piling on top of itself. So it still could be an overcrowding issue um, just because all the grass seeds started pushing in on top of itself. So there's too much grass growing in a small area. So even though I didn't seed too heavy, it said the grass got pushed. And so now it's too heavy because you have areas here, and I'll show you close up where the grass is actually, you know, thickening up and looking healthier. Um, where it's a little bit thinner uh, for, as far as there's not as much grass there. So um, that grass actually looks really good. Blades are thickening up, it looks healthier. Then you've got areas like this where it's just not as thick. The grass looks more dense because there's more of it, but the blades are thinner. It's still very immature because I think it's overcrowding on top of just too much water. So now the question is, can you put a fungicide down on baby grass? The answer is yes, yes you can. Read the bag, I'll put up here what uh, the fungicide that I'm using, what that bag says as far as timing goes. Usually it's two or three weeks after seeding or after germination, I think. So we'll see exactly, I'll put down what the bag says, but yes, you can put a fungicide down and I am putting a fungicide down. I am using the curative rate. Um, which, and you'll see I'm using two different fungicides that's because I'm just using what I have available, available to me at the house. I had a little bit left of the Bio Advance, which is enough to cover the side yard, uh, which is 500 square feet. And I didn't have enough to put the Bio Advance down on the main lawn. So I have a bag of um, Scott's Disease X. I'm gonna put that down here on the main lawn, both at curative rates. The Disease X I think is four pounds per thousand and the Bio Advance is three or three and a half pounds per thousand. I can't quite remember, but I'll put all that information down here. Um, but just read your bag, read your labels. That'll tell you when you can put stuff down, when not to put stuff down. So just read your labels. But yeah, it's definitely frustrating. And something else that you can see here is after I did that first mow, 
uh, where the wheels were touching the rolling on top of the grass, there's like lines of yellowing, which I find really, really odd. Maybe that's from spreading the fungus or whatever it is on the wheels. And so the wheel tracks are what's spreading some of the fungus. I honestly don't know, but I found that very bizarre. You know, you gotta take your licks. It's just sort of, it's part of life, you know? You just gotta take what happens and, you know, push on. So we're just gonna put the fungicide down. I'm gonna do another application of fertilizer uh, here today, actually, once it warms up a little bit more, because it's too cold to really do anything. Because it's, it's just too cold, so put some more fertilizer down because it is time for my last dose of the seed starter pack from Green County Fertilizer. So I'll put that down today and we'll see here in about a week or so how things are going after the fungicide and the fertilizers. So anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you all liked it. Please pray for me that all this stuff uh, clears up a little bit because it's there's nothing worse than doing all this work for things that are really sort of outside of your control. Although you can say I may be seeded too heavy um, but, you know, I can't control fungus, I can't control the weather, so when water is just constantly happening, I can't help that. So, um, but let's just hope all this starts to clear up a little bit uh, and things just start to really uh, do what they should. But anyway, please like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, any opinions you have? Um, let's just talk about it. But anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and God bless.